All right, I've gotten quite a few uh, questions about these little LED strips that I have. Um, these were left over from a project that I did, a, a TTL a, a computer that I built. And I had built these to monitor the eight uh, data lines or address lines. And um, I've recently gone ahead and relayed out this PC board as an individual. It used to be part of a project. I've, anyway, I relayed this out for an individual board that's now available on PCBWay. Um, so you can purchase it if, uh, if you so are inclined. But it's basically just LEDs and uh, uh, resistors. And you can build it either way. Uh, you could build it so that um, there's a common ground and then you pull up to turn an LED on, or you can make it, that would be a uh, common cathode, um, and then you could build a common anode where VCC is, is on the high end, and you pull it down to turn the LED on. You can build them either way you want. Um, so this is, the, this is the new board that I laid out. It, look, it looks just like the, uh, looks just like the, other, the other board. Um, and uh, so anyway, like I said, I'll put a link down below if you, if you care about getting any of these things. I wanted to talk a little bit about other places that you can get these as well and where I, I sort of came up with the idea. There are these boards available on eBay. Now, they're hard to find because they're um, labeled a very strange way. They're called a 6-bit LED. So the number six dash bit, B-I-T, um, six bit LED. <laughs> and I don't know why they call them six bit LEDs. I guess because there's six of them. There's no such thing as an eight bit LED though, which is the one that I built. I have eight wide. You can only get them in uh, six wide. So it's called a, a number six dash bit LED. And they're uh, available in different colors, red or blue. Uh, there's actually a multicolor one that I've seen. Anyway, so you can buy these already. They're 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 ready to go. No soldering required. Um, and uh, one of the original places that I saw an idea like this was from a vendor, I think on Tindy. Uh, these are called Atom Soft Tech, and uh, these were interesting to me um, as an idea, but I don't like the implementation and I'll tell you why. All right, so this is a four bit wide and an eight bit wide. You say, oh great, eight bit wide. Um, but there's eight pins here and there, the on this one, the, the two outer pins are the common. Here, the outer, outer pins are these two here. And so, you use them with a thing like this, so you can you can attach them. And I don't remember if these are common cathode or common anode, but anyway, you can see that when you put it in the PC board, it also picks up power, power or ground, whichever one works. I think it's I think it's ground. Um, so that's the way these work. Now the reason that I don't like them is I don't usually use these long boards. Okay, I usually use these little short boards. And if you've ever noticed, the relationship between these holes and these holes are off um, on these. Let's see here. Yeah. If you draw a straight line, let's see. If you draw a straight line between uh, the, the main holes and the top holes, they're, 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 they're off by a half. Whereas these, they're actually, they're actually lined up, okay? So you can't use this device in these short things because they don't, they don't line up correctly. They won't, they won't mate, okay? Anyway, that's a weird, weird oddity between these, uh, uh, let's go out here, between these long boards and the, and the short boards, these ones line up and these do not. All right, so, and these are a little less flexible, I think, as well. It doesn't really matter it, to each his own. Um, anyway, if you'd like to get some of these boards, put the link down below. Um, you can get 20 of them, I think, for $5. Um, 
So when you go check out, checking the price, I think it defaults to five PC boards, um, but you should always try 10 PC boards or 15 PC boards, 20 PC boards. Sometimes the price is the same, um, especially for a tiny little board like this. So they charged me $5 uh, for 20 boards. Um, and uh, so I think that's a really good a really good deal. The other thing you can do on PCBWay is search around in the um, in the shipping. Uh, I think it defaults to an expensive shipper, um, but you can search around. You can find cheap cheap shipping options. So you should be able to. It takes you longer to get them, um, but you should get these. Should be able to get these pretty cheap. Anyway, that's just an update on these little guys. People have been asking a long time, where do I get those things? How do I get those things? I want one of those. So anyway, here you go.